An entire school is rallying behind one special needs student, hoping to make his dream come true by getting him on The Ellen Show. They've started a campaign called hashtag Get Winden on Ellen. It includes t-shirts, posters, a rally, a letter, and video all to be sent to the star. ABC 10's Francis Wang went out to Granite Bay today to meet Winden and his biggest supporters. Students here at Granite Bay High School are practicing for the big homecoming rally tomorrow afternoon, but this year there's going to be something new and very special to the school. Hundreds of students will be decked out in shirts like this, hoping to get Winden on Ellen. <gasps> Starts now! 19-year-old Winden Greeley has been watching The Ellen Show since it first aired in 2003. Here she is now, Ellen DeGeneres! And how does she sign off every day, Winden? Be she, good to one yeah, another. Yeah, be good to one another. And that's kind of what he's embraced over the years. Winden's in his sixth year at Granite Bay High School, so he's known and loved by all. We call him the mayor because every, almost everywhere we go, mm -hmm. hi, Winden, hi, Winden. Up in Tahoe and all of a sudden you're, hi, hey, Winden. <laughs> and I'm like, we were in Paris this summer, and I'm like, you know what? I, I wouldn't, wouldn't be, be surprised. surprised if someone goes, hey, Winden. But his parents say that hasn't always been the case. And we had to pull him out of school at one point um, because of the bullying. When he did finally come back into the school district, it was, ner you know, we were nervous and stuff. But he's just really grown and they've really accepted him. Accepted him so much to the point where they've created a school-wide campaign to get him on his favorite show. It all started in Mrs. Dixon's leadership class. What makes you feel alive? Ellen! Ellen! <laughs> when Mrs. Dixon called me, my heart dropped and I thought, oh my gosh, what happened? What did he do wrong? And then she was telling me and I, I just almost went to tears. He gets a little uh, recognition. recognition. Students have prepared t-shirts, signs, even a mock Ellen interview to prepare Wyndon for the day he hopefully gets to meet his favorite person. Get Wyndon on Ellen! The big rally kicks off at 1.50 p.m. tomorrow and after that they're going to be sending a video to Ellen, letters. If you're interested in being part of this Get Wyndon on Ellen campaign, we'll have all the information of course on abc10.com. From the Warner Brothers Studios, here she is now, Ellen DeGeneres. Let's welcome some GBHS leadership students to the show. So who are you guys? I'm Kirsten. I'm Grace. I'm Faith. And why are you trying to get Wendon on the Ellen Show? Well, one day Mr. Dixon asked us what makes us feel alive, and what did you say? <laughs> so who is Wendon? So Wendon is a student at our school. He's a special needs student and a six-year senior, and. He loves Ellen and always is happy and positive and he shares his love for Ellen and he's been watching the show for a really long time and he is like always excited and happy and thinks of the glass half full rather than half empty. That's just great. Yeah. So how are you guys spreading the word? We're doing so much to spread the word. We made a Twitter account, a hashtag, make sure you retweet it. We had shirts made, we made posters, there's one at every corner of the school. There's a video and a letter being sent to Ellen's producers very soon, too. I heard some rumors about you guys. I heard there was something at the homecoming rally. Or? Yeah, this Friday we're having a homecoming rally, and we're going to be featuring a chant for Winden that's going to be on the news also. So be prepared to chant with our school and bring your excitement. And well, thanks, guys, for coming on the show. Which one of these activities is Wyndon's favorite on The Ellen Show? Is it no ring toss, heads up, or her scares? Find out after the break.
Before the break, we asked you whether you thought Wyndon prefers no ring cost, heads up, or celebrity scares on The Ellen Show better. If you guessed all of the above, then you are correct. Now back to the show. some questions about someone? Yeah? Okay. Do you know our good friend Ellen? She's on TV. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You do? If you could tell Ellen one thing, what would it be? To go on her show. You want to be on her show? Can we help get Wendon on Ellen, please? Guys, so Ellen saw our videos and she just loved them. She wants winning on the show so bad. We're 90% there and we just need your help by keeping our social media momentum alive. We need your help by retweeting and liking our Instagram and Twitter, at Winden on Ellen. So all you gotta do is take out your phone, so like this, get to Twitter and Instagram. That's it, it takes that long, that's all you gotta do. I love Ellen. Hey guys, it's Ellen Day this Friday. Come wear your Ellen shirts. Or if you don't have an Ellen shirt, wear white or blue. Okay guys, so Friday's Ellen Day. We're gonna have games in the cafeteria, so if you come there, and if, we, if you got one of these shirts, then wear that, or just wear a blue shirt. Thanks. We're performing A Midsummer, Midsummer Night's, Night's Dream. Dream. <laughs> I'm Evan McGuire, and I'm playing Lysander. I'm Nick Martinez, and I'm playing Demetrius. I'm Mark Kostuk, and I'm playing Theseus. Our Midsummer Night's Dream, it's basically about, it takes place in Athens, and what happens is this man is, you know, angry with his daughter because she doesn't want to marry Demetrius. She wants to marry Lysander instead. So I, the king, and I'm like, I'm sorry, but you got to listen to your dad because it's the law. So they run away into the forest. The lovers. That's the lovers, they run away with their, you, you know, with their bays. So, <laughs> you know, they meet, there's fairies in there and they put potions on them to make them fall in love with a girl. And it's like, you know, it's a comedy of errors, a bunch of things, you know, just like jump around. It's really fun. And it's then, a big love triangle. It's a big yeah, love it's, square. It's a square. Square. Yeah, yeah, it's like a square. Square. It's a square. And then, um, eventually, you know, the king shows up in the forest and um, they fall in love with the right people in the end. And I'm like, okay, cool, this works. She doesn't have to marry Demetrius because she loves Lysander. And then, you know, Demetrius I, falls in love yeah. with his bae. Well, we're performing a Midsummer Night's Dream outside, which is super cool. So we basically built this whole stage and you guys will get to come and bring blankets or lawn chairs and just enjoy the whole show from the grass and the comfort of your own blankets and lawn chairs. Basically the play takes place outside, so we're like, why don't we do this play outside? And like, it's just a cool like, dynamic, I guess, and we have the ability to do it because we built the stage. It's really cool because we have outside lighting and it turns out really nicely, especially, you know, us incorporating the steps and whatnot all over the place. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. And like, because it's like a Midsummer Night's Dream, like in the picture, there's like a cool moon. And like when the show starts, the moon's like... Oh yeah, the moon the rises up behind the stage. It's really cool. It's, it's sick. Uh, Midsummer Night Stream opens this Thursday. Doors open at 7, so be out here. Bring your friends, bring blankets, bring lawn chairs, hot chocolate. You know, the possibilities are endless. It'll be awesome. Good morning, Granite Bay. I'm Jacob Northam. And I'm Natalie Krissa. 
Here are today's stories from Thursday, October 29th. Car vandalism. If you have any information regarding the vandalism of cars parked in the GBHS parking lot last Friday, October 16th, please come to the office and speak with our Placer County Sheriff's Deputy. The owner of the car that was vandalized is offering a reward for any information pertinent to the situation. Thank you. Club Photo Day. Club and organization yearbook group photos will be taken on campus on Wednesday, November 4th. All of them will be taken in one day and each group will have a scheduled time for their photo. They will be starting at 7.30 a.m. Club presidents and advisors, please make sure that you submit an emailed list to your club or organization members to Ms. Cranmer as soon as possible at bcranmer at rjuhsd.us. The list must be of actual club members and not just the list of names you collected at Club Rush. We need to have the list even if a group has a scheduled class as we have to print every student's name on a piece of paper to ID him slash her properly. If you don't submit a list, we won't schedule you for a photo. We'll publish the, ske the schedule by Wednesday, October 28th. Make sure that all of our club members know when the photo will be taken. There will be no retakes. Lost and found. A lot of items are in the lost and found, including clothes, shoes, textbooks, and notebooks. Please check outside of student services if you have lost something because these items are donated monthly. Attention seniors applying to colleges. UC and CSU application support for students is available on Tuesday, November 3rd during both lunches and Thursday, November 19th from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. Senior yearbook portraits. Seniors must have their pictures taken at Prestige Portraits by November 1st. Please visit their website at prestigeportraits.com or call to make an appointment. Free yearbook portrait only sittings are still available. Senior recognition ads. The final deadline to turn in payments and photos for the senior recognition ad in the yearbook is November 6th. You can print out information from the online student store or pay online at student services. Attention seniors planning to attend Sierra College next year. Seniors can now start applying for admissions for fall 2016. The online admission application can be found at sierracollege.edu. New students will be able to start registering for classes starting April 26, 2016. Classes themselves begin on August 22, 2015. Sierra College Parent Information Night. Sierra College will once again be hosting a series of popular parent information nights at Rockland campus during fall 2015. If parents are interested in reserving a space, please email outreach at sierracollege.edu indicating which day they would like to attend and how many spaces to reserve. That's all for your Thursday Bulletin. I'm Jacob Northam. And I'm Natalie Krissa. Have a great day, Granite Bay.